temperatures are going to be high today and then you know it, we feel it all summer long. Yeah, and so we need to take care of our health. Also our pets to share guidance on keeping our pets safe this summer. We're going to talk to veteran a veterinarian at wellness pet company Danielle Bernal. Good morning, Danielle Bernal. Good. Nice to see you. Thank you. Wonderful to be here. So we're talking a lot about heat. So what are the signs that we can watch for with heat illness in our pets? Yeah, so heat stroke can be really common and it can occur quite quickly. What you want to look for are things like if your dog's excessively panting, but also at that state where they're drooling, they might be a little bit dizzy, a little bit uncoordinated, really labored breathing. If you're seeing any of those signs where your pet's looking really lethargic, it's potentially time to absolutely get them indoors, but even maybe go see your veterinarian. You know it gets so hot here, people especially with, you know, long haired dogs. Uh, you think that you're just going to let them out in the yard I, and maybe they'll come inside on their own through a pet door. How do we know, um, How do not just limiting that time, how do we know when they've had enough? Because sometimes they'll stay out even when it's unsafe. They love the heat, yeah. They will. They like to sunbake. They yes. like to chase a bird if it's in the backyard and that'll keep them outside. So what I encourage is try to keep the periods to short sessions. If they love being outdoors, first nearly do it in the morning, do it in the evening. In that really hot part, bring them inside. You can use a puzzle ball with some treats in there or a chew toy. Bring something in that's going to bring them inside and get them enthusiastic about doing that and stay in the air conditioning if possible. You know, the other great things is don't forget to keep their hydration up. That that's really important as well because, you know, we know we have to drink a lot to help keep us cool, but it's the same for our puppies as well. Yeah, so lots of water, but we're also talking this morning about things like pupsicles. Like, I guess you could make them yourself, maybe nutritious for your for your dog, but they could also cool down because they're frozen. Exactly. You know, getting your dogs under a nice cool towel in a water, that's <laughs> all great ways of lowering that body temperature. But we all know there's nothing better in the summer than a nice cold icicle. So <laughs> making one for our pupsicles is just as important. Now, it's really easy to do if you're thinking about it. All you need is a simple mold. Uh -huh. That's going to be your base element of it. And then you can use things, for example, that's in your pantry, be that yogurt, some water to dilute it, some frozen berries or a banana, blend them all together and pour it in. Then the other thing I say is, well, make it a bit meaty treat. You can find some freeze dried mm. treats, for example, and sprinkle that on top. Or another way, if you're thinking, oh, that just sounds a bit labor intensive. Well, yeah. remember when you're going to buy something like a broth for a dog that's going to be low in sodium, so nice and healthy, you can just pour that into the mold and again, sprinkle some of their favorite treats on top. Either way, you can mix and match it to whatever your dog likes, but with a nice frozen popsicle, that's going to be a great way of lowering their temperature. So, you know, they can have that outdoors under the shade and help keep them cool so that they stay nice and safe. Yeah, yeah I love those recommendations because then we also know what is safe to make for them too. Uh, quickly though, before we let you go, you know, people are traveling this summer. Other summer related questions we have for you are how to reduce travel anxiety in our pets that we might be taking with us. Exactly. Well, you've probably been planning your summer vacation for months, but your dog may not know till the night before when, hang on, everyone's packing up luggage. So when it comes to those things, you know, our pets can get anxious. If your dog's normally anxious, and this might be when a couple weeks before you go, think about adding in a supplement into their diet that promotes calming and relaxation. Another great one is, you know, when you're going, this is the perfect time if you're taking your pet to overpack. Bring things that give them familiarity, like their favorite toys, their chew toys, their bedding, that'll help lower the anxiety. Mm -hmm. And of course, just being with you, that'll help ease them as well, because they know that you're their safe space so that wherever they are, be their new smells and new environment, that'll help ease them down. But lastly, don't forget if your dog's super nervous and you're going away for that 4th of July weekend, this is the time to speak to your veterinarian and potentially see if they need some additional medication to help them on that night as well. So lots of good packing tips, but obviously out there and enjoy your vacation with your dog to make it a memorable one. Awesome and good idea. I didn't think about asking your vet for something you would start giving them like a couple yeah, weeks before you leave. All exactly. right. And that's a good because it's not a sedative. It's just more of a calming element. So it's yeah. a healthier option as well. Got it. Good to know, Danielle Bernal. We appreciate your time this morning. And to here to demonstrate some of those pup treats is our producer Faith with her dog.
Mando. Mando. Mando is so cute. I gotta tell you, Mando She's been like running around the newsroom all morning. Thing. He's been running around the newsroom all this, this morning. I'm so sorry. Is so <laughs> good. But who's a good, good boy? Um, so, how did you know how to make popsicles? I just watched the videos that the vet had on YouTube. Uh, I had never made them before, but they were a big hit with him, actually. We taste tested a couple last night. Yeah. And he was a big fan. <laughs> so, yeah, so Faith said she was uh, busy last night making some of these. And that was interesting because I didn't think, I was like, oh, yeah, yogurt, like all the berries. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you just do like the broth, and I mean, a lot exactly. of people buy that stuff anyway to feed yeah. your dog. So what kind did you make? Or Amanda, you get to have a taste test on the air yeah. and show us which yeah. ones you like. Well, he just loves these in with his dog food. They're <laughs> simply this is shreds. This the lowest so camera like... ever for Amanda. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so these are simply shreds. So okay. you just put these in with your dog's regular food. It's uh -huh. like shredded chicken along oh, with okay. broth. And um, I just poured these right into the mold. It was so easy. That, yeah. This was the easiest popsicle for sure. And okay. you got these like on Amazon. I got those on Amazon. I think the vet has oh, the better. Oh, and there's the bones. <laughs> oh no, I thought those molds were super cute. I Is have this a open? Here. Yeah, if you. Yeah, sorry. Do it this way. <laughs> I got it here, so we can see. Me and Doe, he's he hasn't been shy all morning, and now I he's know. like, oh, cute. Well, the camera's. And I guess yes, you put the little sticks on them so yeah. that you can pull them out easily, exactly. like popsicles. Yes. Should so I get these, these out too? Are, yeah. Sure. Okay. So these are kinds you guys can eat. Oh. Wow. <laughs> right. So they're flavored like meat. Meat popsicles. These are the watermelon, oat, and frozen it, strawberries uh -huh. water. So these were super easy to make. And, and then these, oh, you yeah. can talk the chicken. These, these are the shreds. Oh, the oh my gosh, oh. look at him. So could you tell, I mean, we're gonna, what are we gonna give him? One of each and see which one it goes towards? Yes, well, okay. I think, you know, look how cute that came out. That is so I cute. Love really cute. <laughs> he loves these You're like, I think he will ones. have all of them. Let's try that. And they're so good because he's got a lot of fur. So uh -huh. he gets so hot in the summertime. I can tell he's just panting heavily. So with the treat That's like what this, I was going to ask you. Was, he's like, are you going to drop that? that, that? Overheated. Yeah, just panting a lot. And we actually took him like, we had to use the Furminator on him before he came on the show, so he'd look pretty. It's like uh -huh. the brush that gets out all the undercoat right? and everything. Yeah. And I could make a whole other corgi with all the fur. I got. Yeah, because <laughs> they're shedding that winter fur right, right. now. Exactly. So they're so hot, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, so I definitely You're wanted sweet. To... You're not like putting it down, but, <laughs> but you, I think you could <laughs> yeah, on, you on our can. fake little I mean, grass here. He went here. crazy <laughs> when you brought that one out, but he did sit for these, so we might have Ooh. to give him some. So of should I put one next to it and see if he stops with the watermelon yeah, and goes for the shredded chicken it's what oh yep he <laughs> sorry he's I like, like the i want the, the winner but um, he did like the fruit he turned me all around but either <laughs> way i mean whichever they choose it's just a good idea to like have some of these on hand in the freezer yeah exactly and you can you know make sure that they're cooling down. I think so because also it can sneak up on you, right? Like you're sometimes going for a walk and don't even realize like you're out there for very long and then they start to give you those clues like you mentioned his panting mm -hmm. or they'll start to lay down on a cool floor. It'd be great to just have some of these in your freezer ready to go. Right. Yeah. All Faith, right. Well, thanks so much for bringing Mando, Mando in. Mando, thanks, thanks so for coming in and letting us see. That is not your best side, but he's a corgi, <laughs> so it's super cute. It's <laughs> corgi's <laughs> best side. He's very yeah. popular. He's yeah. like, stop <laughs> watching me eat, dude. All right, All right. we're going to go to break and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be right back, but we'll go out with Mando's best side. Right. <laughs>